Uh, the implantation does not take place immediately after the embryo transfer. It usually takes place between 24 and 36 hours we have transferred the embryo. What we do is that we gently release the embryos inside of the uterine cavity and then the embryos stay around there for these 24 to 36 hours. It's quite common that patients ask us what they can do after the embryo transfer, is if that is going to have any impact on the implantation or not. Well, uh, no. In, in normal conditions, for example, we request our patients to come with a full bladder, we let them go to the loo after the, the transfer has finished, they can even travel on the same day, the embryos they, they are going to remain there because the uterine cavity is a virtual cavity, so there is no risk that the embryos may fall out after the transfer, regardless of what you do. Okay, so it's a completely safe procedure and it's completely safe to start leading normal life after a couple of hours. Why do we do recommend these two hours after the embryo transfer? Because they may help to keep the uterus relaxed. And that's the only thing that seemingly can uh, improve the implantation rates. So basically, uh, what we want is to keep these uterus relaxed until the embryos implant. If you want to take things easy for these uh, 24 hours. That's fine, it's not going to be a problem, but it's not strictly necessary. In the end, we may think what a woman does when she is trying to get pregnant naturally. I mean, nobody spends one day at home after they have had, they have had sex just because they think that it's going to improve the implantation rates. They keep leading completely normal life, they even go to the gym, they may have a glass of wine and things like that, and if the embryo implants is going to implant anyway. So don't get too stressed about what you can do after the embryo transfer, and especially in this first 24 hours that you need uh, that are going to pass before the embryo implants.